Hello everyone and welcome to game number 20 of my Vancouver Canucks franchise. Um, we're going to be facing off against the Boston Bruins today. The same Boston Bruins who now have Lindholm and Zadorov. It's going to be a great uh, matchup of former teammates. And um, it's it's going to be something uh, to behold. Because right now we have the leading scorer. In, or one of the leading scorers in Brad Marchand. I think Malkin's the only guy ahead of him that is going to be... Um, you know, in the position to possibly make a run, a late run, late, you know, at this age, um, Evgeny Malkin, that is, um, to possibly go for an Art Ross. I don't think it's going to be possible. I think eventually Connor McDavid comes back and wins the Art Ross um, because he was leading for so, so much of this season. Um, but right now, here we go. We got game number 20. As you can see, we're 17-1-1. So we lost um, one of the games in OT and one in regulation. Uh, Demko has been absolutely amazing. He's going to be uh, facing off against Swayman. Uh, we got a matchup, as you can see, on the right side. Um, in terms of goals against per game, um, we're fourth. We're not number one in there, but in terms of goals for, we are. Uh, power play percentage is um, kind of absurd. Uh, our penalty kill really, really, really bad. So this is two of the worst penalty killing teams uh, in the league facing off against each other right now. And um, hopefully, just hopefully, um, you know, we can um, keep the pucks out of our net on the penalty kill. Um, as you can see, the team leaders, um, I did mention Marshan Quinn Hughes is our man in terms of the team leader. 26 points, and I believe he's not missed any time. So, um, yeah, 19 games, um, 26 points. Not a bad start for Quinn Hughes. Uh, if we go to the next, we look at the team standings. We're number one in the division. Blues are number one in the Central. And if we look at the Atlantic, Canadians are number one, tied with the Red Wings. And the Hurricanes are well ahead of the Capitals in the Metropolitan. Um, team leaders, uh, we're looking at forward, uh, our forward uh, points leader as JT Miller. Kind of no surprise there. We already talked about Hughes at 26 points. Goals, nah, Jake DeBrusque at 9. Quinn Hughes uh, at 18 assists. Rookie points are to Rato at 6 points, but that might change really soon, and you might find out why when we take a look at lineups. And then goalie wins, Thatcher Demko. Uh, we didn't play him uh, for the first 6, 7 games of the season, just to kind of keep it somewhat realistic as to you know him not being injured and everything. Uh, we did trade Sprong, and um, I did not talk about that trade on uh, on any of the NHL groups. So that's something that I'm going to be probably posting up on um, after, uh, maybe sometime tomorrow, um, after people have gone through this and kind of, you know, have some post like every other day um, about my NHL franchise with the Canucks. Uh, if we're looking at league leaders right now, we did talk about... Um, Brad Marchand being there, there's Connor McDavid by mine and Pasternak. Um, so that yeah, there there is some there's some players here that we had to work look out for. We're looking at in the essentially let's just say top five. I know he Hyman's only one point ahead of Lindholm, but we got Lindholm, Pasternak, and Marchand in the top five in scoring. We have no players in the top five in scoring. In terms of league leaders in goals, um, we got Pasternak there and Marchand at fourteen. Uh, Lindholm's not too far behind, but he is number 10 on that list. Uh, if we're looking at assist leaders, again, it's going to be Brand Marchand. He has been feeding the puck to Pasternak quite a bit. Um, and yeah, other than that, league leaders and goalies, goalie wins. It is going to be Stuart Skinner with 14 wins in 18 games. Uh, absolutely lights out uh, for him. Uh, same percentage and goes against average, probably not the best, but he is still performing well. He's still getting the wins. Uh, now we're going to go... And take a look at our lineups. Uh, the Bruins are going to get their um, alternate jerseys put on them. We're going to look at the lineups now. And um, hopefully, just hopefully, we can um, get things going. But here, DeBrusque, Milsey, and Besser on the first line. Then we got the Swedish connection. Yes, I put them all together. Hoglander, Pedersen, and Lekaramaki is going to be making his NHL debut um and then dakota joshua stewart's um uh, stewart skinner Psst. dakota joshua pia Suter, and connor garland on the third 
Uh, and then Heinen, Ratu, and Sherwood on the fourth. Right now, obviously, Ratu leads. He was playing in place of Pedersen when Pedersen got injured for, a, I think it was 10 plus games. Um, and did pretty, pretty well on that second line there, but Pedersen is back, so we can't keep him there. I can't bump down Suda to the fourth, um, considering we, need, we do need um, consistently consistency throughout the lineup. Uh, in terms of defense, we got Quinn Hughes, Horonic, Susie Myers, Jordan Harris, and DeHarnay. Um, Susie uh, tried trading him. He has a no-move clause, so can't move him. Uh, Tyler Mars, on the other hand, I've considered it. He does uh, have an 84 overall. Probably be a bit easier to move. We might maybe tr attempt moving him for like a Rasmus Anderson uh, type player. Uh, with a few other pieces involved. Uh, Rasmus Anderson is an elite def right-handed defenseman, so it'll be kind of tough to get him, but we'll try our best to do so. Uh, in terms of goalies, we're looking at Demko and Lankinen. Demko obviously starting, Lankinen backing up. Uh, in terms of scratched is Noah Juleson. He's just there to provide us um, with some help if we do have any injuries uh, on the back end. And with that being said, it is time for Le Karamaki's debut. And uh, honestly, I can't wait. Let's get things started. Vancouver versus Boston right now. Hi, everybody. James Here we go. We're here in Boston. TD Garden, Boston, Mass. 17 1 1 versus the 12 and 10 Boston Bruins. But even there, 12 and 10, they do have three of the leaders in points. So let's see how we can do here. JT Miller on the faceoff. Lies Lindholm, former teammate, wins it. Oh, bad pass. That, the brush, too. I forgot about the brush. Whoa. How did I forget to talk about the brush? Tries to get the puck to Herodic. Sent into the offensive zone. Oh, I meant to go above the crease and I went a little lower and Swayman decides to cover it up. personalized jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Lindholm's won it in their own end. From one point man to another. Scooped up along the wall by Besser. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a blast. No Bruce had to get that on that. Nice hit, Horonic. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed. Oh, perfectly. Miller was there, but there was some players in, in his puck. vicinity. Good, Couldn't check, get the puck cleanly. But here comes Horonic again. Horonic, PD, PD, get open, PD. What a pass. Oh, what patience by Horonic wow. and Pedersen with the one T. Gets open for his eighth goal of the season. Well, you don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed what a perfect pass. pass. The, right the replay the right says shot. it all. No chance for a Swayman. Vancouver's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already it. the first goal Getting of the up game. There and hits. Just trying to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done. He's taking and the teacher cut out of it for sure. The coach but there'll be a lot today, of hockey James, left to play. There is the Karamaki. You set the tone. You control the pace of play, and you find a way to get on the board first. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Quick pass to Myers. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Quick shot. And oh, the deflection. That threat. Quick feed to Pedersen. And they dump the puck into the forwards. They're going to switch it up. Slides it across to Coyle. Vancouver's got it now. Moves it to Myers. What was that? Susie's right Slides there. The puck to Kiki. Shot. Oh, comes up with a kick. Nice. Save. Demko did not expect that puck to come, but he got it with the right pad and held on to it for the faceoff. What? That's Geeky, right? Yeah. Inching closer to the midway mark Geeky. of this period. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. 
Fredericks won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. That goes wide. James, you know in practice. Whoa! What a shot by Trent Frederick. Holy! That was gorgeous. You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. See this one more time. The goaltender is trying to play the game oh, of percentages okay. here. He draws wow. into the butterfly position, making himself as big as he possibly can. That's but one thing what? that the goaltenders do not expect. And the shooter Players converts. like Trent Frederick, who are those third-line guys, to be able to have a shot like that. Demko definitely wasn't expecting it. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Yeah, Kevin Shattenkirk is still playing. Wow, what a start to the game. If this is so, if this is a sign for things to come, oh man. Oh, he destroys them on the play. Vancouver's on the attack. Quick feed down low. Picked up along the wall by oh, Suter. Too much power. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puck grab by Harris. And he takes the pass. What was that? And there's the whistle. Ice there the is right there. Suter, what were you thinking? Boston's Come got on. it and they're on Lindholm. the attack. The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck, but they win it Joshua. clean and they have an opportunity right away with the tire oh! that they're playing against. Oh my god, the how did that not go in? Dishes it to Jones. Oh. Joshua has been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, what a blocker say. Stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on that. That's tenacity at its best. Block shot. And he turned that one aside. Nice. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Shot attempt completely fails oh my on god, block shot. That far left side was and open. Earlier tonight, if you missed it, this is a moment that this kid won't ever forget, Cheryl. There's a lot. It when it's your lifelong dream from when you're a child and it's all you envision playing in your first NHL game, and then you get to take the inaugural rookie lap, all of the veterans in behind you, you know, kind of the bated breath before you put your foot Ooh, that yawn on the came ice. Out of nowhere. Then you carve it in there and you skate around the energy in the building. Everyone knows it's your first lap that's in the stands. They know you're a rookie. And I'm sure a lot of family in the building oh. as well to celebrate this I lifelong dream. Let that go dream. a little too early. The Bruins gain the zone. Here's a short pass to Heronic. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. The Canucks play it along the boards. Here's a chance in front. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Blocked aside. That's not who the I wanted to go to, but hey, got it. DeBrusque. Oh, Brock Besser from DeBrusque. The brush makes his former team. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna say play for some reason. <laughs> hey, oh my God, Brock Besser. Perfectly timed pass, but take the brush. Working on different exercise, tracking with your eyes, foot movements. Not much. Everything that power pushes but Besser didn't have to do much. He just had to have this puck come to his stick, and it hits him and goes and to the back of the net. You had to put a little bit more pressure on the defense, but that's about it. What a goal. Zadorov too, is the man who's standing right there. Guarding the Besser and couldn't How does this defend now change the complexion of this one? Uh, I think it's really important because go. they got momentum right now. Vancouver. More it's to their step and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead. Take the momentum and use it to their advantage. Getting a little physical there with that collision. And it's a quick pass to Besser. Takes a hit on the play. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. And that's why he's possessing the puck tonight. I was hoping for a Made redirect the there. The play. Big hit along the boards. Well, he was so aggressive on this Oh, one, my James. God. That, that was that kind of the right idea. But... And then shoulder on shoulder. This is a clean hit. And disrupts the player from the pot. That's a beauty. And he's got that one. The Canucks gain control. No, of the no, puck. that's not what I meant. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. 
Grabbed along the boards by Sherwood. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Lays the body into that play. Puts it in deep. Boston's got the puck along the boards. The brush changed, man. I don't they know why you're still on the ice. Inside the defensive zone. Shot! That's gloved by Demko. There you go. The brush can get, actually finally get off the ice now. Late goings of this period. I really want to fight to break out in this game. There's gonna be a hit. There's gonna be a hit. Sometime during this game. Pedersen's won the draw inside his own end. Vancouver's got it across the line. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Right on the doorstep. Centering pass! Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. 20 minutes All right. in the books. Let's that is the end of the we'll first period. Period number two in two one Vancouver. What a couple of passes the Canucks players have made in order to get those two goals. Pretty even in terms of shots. Hits are pretty even. We have do we do have more time on attack. But in terms of passing and faceoffs, one um, Boston does have the edge there. So we're going to try to close the gap in the second period. Here we go. The middle stanza is about to go. The officials ready to drop the puck. Fans are back in their seats, bum, 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 and let's see where the action here. picks up here in period number two. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Bruins are fortunate that this game is close, James. I mean, they've oh, had way too many turnovers and terrible blue line they decisions. They need to shore that it. up if they want to get back in this game. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. There's a collision with some authority. Here we go, odd man rush. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Taken along the wall by McAvoy. Sends a pass over. Vancouver's got the puck Come on. now. Nice zone entry from the right side. The Bruins have it against the wall. Takes the shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece Come of that on. one. Besser. Puck sent over Miller. Oh, I, to, I should have held the L2 button. Oh, tremendous hit on the play. And look at that. He's on his own bench. Well, great catch by his Take teammates, a seat, isn't it, James? Said. As he lands in the lap of his own and you know what there's a lot of laughs going on right there they're saying man you got it you got a good Wait, one what? there's the oh whistle. let's see what the referee saw a tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer yeah. you're in a one that's little holding deficit, and you gotta Marshall, find a way what are you to generate thinking? offense james real tough Marshall, one to take. Like, really who's that a call <laughs> why are you upset you know that's a holding call marshan sit down let's get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice. The setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And he takes the feed. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Hughes plays it now. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop by Swayman. A little crash and a there you go. forces the turnover. And that's off a stick. And oh, that no. The offensive end. No, 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 no. The Bruins ready to go Luger. to the attack. And now it's grabbed by Carlo. Demko's Come on. gonna slow it down oh here my God. and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Kiki's gliding that in for the face-off as We're this still penalty on the kill play, will continue. Nice it's win the face-off. Miller's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Garland's got it in the defensive end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Pedersen. 
Oh, what a redirect. No. Keeping the puck out of the net. And now he moves it quickly to Garland. Quick pass to Heronic. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Patterson was there, but Swayman saw it coming all the way. 34 seconds left on the power play. It's 14.02 of the second. That was into the boards. Miller's ready for the draw as we get set to resume play this power and play. Together. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Why is and that Corona right so up to center ice. deep into the zone? And down he goes as the puck oh my goes free. God. Why was Corona so and deep into the zone in the first place? Picked up along the boards by Ratu. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Marshawn's penalty Did is someone get inspired. it? Oh my. Offside the call. We'll get a face off coming up. Not a good power play for us. Not a good power play at all. for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Bruins take possession after that neutral zone face off. Marchand's teammates kill off the penalty. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. What a save! Oh, what a save! Off the one timer! And does it again! Great oh my god, Lakira Maggie, what a bomb! Lead. He's gotta push across once he recognized that it's going there, and then he's gotta get square to the shooter. Slides the puck to Hughes. Oh what no, 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 no. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Long lead pass to Hoaglander. Puck scooped up by Ratu. Quick feed to Susie. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Come on, Joshua's there. Slides it quickly to Susie hit McAvoy. Puck Took the puck off. No, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> I knew when I did that hit, something was going to happen. We're back to even. It's Morgan Geeky. Morgan Geeky. Spins it. In the crease. But he doesn't affect the goaltender at all. Well, maybe Demko couldn't move his way back, move his way side to side. Past the halfway mark of this period. But I, at the we same time, it's a goal. It is a goal. It's 2-2. 9.54 of the second. Miller's quick stick lands on the Brand puck. Brand new game. Debrusk's moving the puck through his own zone. And we're going to bring off the board, not along it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Miller's won the draw. The Canucks have it now. Taken by Besser. Feeds it to DeBrusk. Vancouver's got it along the wall. What is Besser doing going so much in, into the middle of the, of the ice? Zone. Oh my god, Susie, what are you doing? Oh stop. my, this is ridiculous. Oh, and now you the bus went right there and you did pass. that. The oh whistle. my god, this I is getting absolutely ridiculous now. This team is not gelling. Boston ties it up and boom, all of a sudden we're like in this position of uncertainty. The Canucks win the draw here in their own end. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. And that won't go oh, as it hits man, one of his own teammates tough. in front. Moves it to Susie. Well, after that bone crushing hit, he is really laboring. You can tell that he was slow to get up. Get, get, and oh, that rebound was there. The and the home side is He is Suter. Swimming the got Swimming got basically put into the net. The or fell into his own net. Next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind that of push steal. and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Wow. And he just 
falls back afterwards. One goal lead. Here in period one goal two. lead. Yeah, now it's about not We're back. back. Not We're back again. The lead. We're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after Toto more. Joshua with the assist. Puck grab by Harris. Takes the pass. Knocks the puck loose. Solid check to slow him down. And that's offside, stopping the play. Oof, what a game so far. <laughs> Here in the back half of this period, Vancouver's got a one goal lead. Suter. The Bruins win the faceoff. Carlo's going to play it against the half wall. Nice. Can't get it to go. Harris. Harris, wheel, 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 wheel. Centering pass in front. Is that Suter again? Oh my. Pia Suter again. Sometimes when you're an on-man rush, you can overthink it, James. You can overpass. Not here. Oh they my God! What a perfect finish! And you can tell there this was has no to tap it in, place the stick and they flat on the ice, and redirects it into the net. Look at that! Look at that! It was not even that hard of a pass. Swayman could have got that. It went through a bit of the crease. Vancouver's delivered an absolute has a dagger second here late of in the period game. number two, doubling up their lead. Well, you can hear and feel the energy this just elevate after that goal, James. Everyone kind of standing up. The Third body line language speaks for itself. Shooter. Now it's about igniting another has fire and game. trying to get another one. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Here they are on the attack. Makes his presence known on the ice. And he lowers the boom there. Quick Almost puts it in his own net. What a bomb by Suter though. Imagine Suter got his hat trick on that goal. Oh man. Ooh, what a hit. On Deharnay of all Here in the late going of the frame, the Canucks have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Boston's got possession here in their own end. Through center. Avoids the poke check. Nice and block here. From someone in front. Lindholm. Oh, the love from Demko. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot. And he makes the glove hand save. We've had less hits than Boston. Chances, Usually we're pretty they even. They have almost the double second. the amount of hits. Lindholm's won the draw. Passes it over. Here's a short pass to Marchand. With authority. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. And look at the hustle here as they wave off the ice and Cheryl. Well, intangible, that is the word this coach is looking for. The aggressive ability to get on that puck and negate icing. Driving right to the front. The Karamaki, he's right there. 56.3 seconds left in the second. It's 4-2 Vancouver now. We got two quick goals after Boston tied it up. And it's looking like we're going to have that lead going into the third period. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get played back underway. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Rocked him in the open ice. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Vancouver's at the line. Wow, score! Sherwood with a tipper. Oh my God. It was a last the minute. I didn't think we were going to get another goal, but he just throws it in that huge. The and the Sherwood way just tips it a one. little bit higher. That's another assist for the captain. Look at that. The Canucks are probably thinking, we don't want this period to end the way things are going. Show you've been in these types of games before. No, James, if I'm playing in this game, I do not want the intermission because everyone is firing on all cylinders. They're in a rhythm. When you have that kind of energy going for you, you don't want to sit and wait for the third. Their opponent certainly wants that time, but I don't think they do. I didn't try to get a shot off. It was blocked up by the defender. And we have come to the end of the second period. We've got the intermission coming up. It's 5 2 Vancouver right now against Boston. What a redirect by Sherwood there. We're looking at a shot total of 20 to 13. They're dominating in hits. We're still dominating. We're dominating on time and attack, but their passing has been something. Now, we did close the gap on the face-offs which is really good we had only won two in the first after the first was over 
And I believe they had won... Um, where's the face-off ceremony? Yeah, they had won 7. Then we flipped around, won 11, and they won 4. So their face-off percentage did drop. So now it's time to get into 3rd. Let's see if Hope we can hold the lead. Ross and Ass come back before. Down. And surprise me, so let's see how it goes. The puck here on period number three. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Two thirds of the way to the finish line, and this oh one for Ross in time. Sure. What a save by Swayman well, with the right pad. Stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, they're oh my god, really that was a hard shot. Because of it, they've been chasing Scary. the game. They got to do something when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Boston's oh, man, got man. the puck. Get it up the board, Feeds the bump. puck over to Marchand. Here's a pass in front. Nice. And that's intercepted. Unable to reach that one. And the officials waving off icing here. JT Miller! <laughs> wow. Absolutely. Wow. Like, we are running away with it. this game. It was such really a close like game in the, the first to wait for the right and time to be able to half move of the second and Miller just area. no chance for Swayman. Got some wood on it and buried it. Are they going to change the goalie? They're going to have to, right? Jeremy Swayman. Vancouver's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick wow. for a majority Six of this two. game. You know the Complete coaching staff insanity. is going to be impressed. Hey, I maybe it they'll been closer. get the day off tomorrow. The Canucks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Takes the feed. Pedersen's team is flying out there, James. I mean, this oh is a God. blowout. He already has one. What How many goals is he going to get? Goal, but... <laughs> Marshawn's playing with such confidence Jamie's right now. Still He's got net. this point streak going, and when that happens, for that. you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. I forgot. Oh the yeah, Corpusalo is their backup. Yeah, you don't want Corpusalo. Third period, leading big. Pedersen's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Long jam in front. That's broken up. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. The Canucks gain possession. Oh, that just sounded painful. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Oh Great my god. The Kermack again there. And he slides it quickly to Saka. The Bruins take it along the wall. Oh, he couldn't put it past. Demko gets it. 1442 of the third. Fantastic save from a high danger scoring area. The Kermack almost had another chance there. In front of the net. That was a big hit on the rookie. Was that Lindholm? Vancouver showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Offense's own face off and he wins the draw. Picked up along the wall by Brasso. Demko has to hold Demko's it again. Demko's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Boston might get close to us in terms of shots. The here in the third but listening they keep going to the coach's like message. Lots of pucks on net. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Garland. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it quickly over to Harris. Moves the puck. That's using the body on the block. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Quick pass to Dayarnay. To the Try to get through the legs there, but good. In my goodness, they are really starting oh to my god, things are picking up, now. but right now it's 11.55 five of the third here. Oh my god, Blaze holding it. Blaze got it in the offensive zone. Nice little bump. And that's picked off in the defensive end. The I'm trying to get through the defense somehow. Boston's moving it along the wing. Puck scooped up by Beecher. Come on. Hangs on to the puck oh no, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Oh my god. Huge that was deal in his own end. That knocks him off the puck. Oh, look at this chance. Nice poke check. I was trying to that go forehand backhand, but there was the not enough space. The Islanders are up next on the schedule, and I hear tickets are still available. A few select seats, so That's get them now. Right there. Should my be a good one coming up. for wins. Lindholm's won a big draw on their own end. The Bruins are in transition. 
The Canucks look to start the transition game. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. No! Oh my god, and it's Lindholm. Who, or who else? What a mistake by me. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build out that last shift. That little poke through the five hole of Demko. But it's Elias Lindholm. Oh, it and then chest crosses it. Opportunity out of it. That's reward right there. We don't have much hockey left to play. Really 8.46. Here, at got we need three goals. With. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of. But certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Vancouver's in on the offensive attack now. Comes up with the stop. Play what? blown dead. Let's get the call. Slashing JT Miller. The Canucks will serve two. Where does slashing. slashing call come from? Oh my God, Miller! Why? Boston on the power play is the not easy unless we get the puck down the ice. And with the two tied up off the face off, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Demko cover it. Demko's going to give everyone a chance to the breathe and hang on to the puck. Let's Rogers see what we can do they're still short handed here as they get ready for the face off. On the power play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Saka. Too nice much block. congestion blocks the shot. I'm trying to pass it, but it's not letting me pass oh, it. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. That was slashing. Feeds the puck to Sherwood. The Canucks carry it along the wall. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Moves it to Besser. And the Damn, I try to go short side and through the legs. And the body language on the bench Boston says it all, James. They're all looking up at Morgan the time Geeky. on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Yeah, you got to stick up. It was not much. It was not much, but it was just enough. A little four on four hockey as both teams Good. step inside the face. Four on four off for. Circle. Well, four Half on minute. four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on one. What a hit on Marshan. Pass back to the point. Lindholm. Fantastic save. Demko's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's oh, the hat trick denied on Suter. What a move. That was insanity. What a hit by Dayrene on Marshan. And Marshan was slow to get up as well. Vancouver's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Come on. Hoaglanders won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Well, this game is wild, James. End to end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Hollander was there. Hollander was there. It's 544 in the third. 19 seconds left on the power play for us. There was no need for that hit. No need at all. Pasternak side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Miller's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. That the Bruins take it along the wall. Oh my God. Geeky's almost back on the ice. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Slides the puck over. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, There's not much I, know I didn't I was have much space on to do always anything on there. the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not nice a big Patterson. deal. But each and Low every bump. one of them, it should be. Passes on over to Heronik. Here's a short pass to Pedersen. Oh, Boston's I thought he had it twice. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Oh, he oh that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Keep it out. That was a mistake. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. 
Grabbed along the board by Blake. Come on. Two minutes they left. Possession here inside the neutral zone. Stretch pass. Pass across to Shattenkirk. Loses the coverage there. Dishes it off. Now a quick pass Why to Why did Petra. no one change? Here's a blast. Nice, then goes Sartre to traffic. 114 in the third. It looks like a win for the Vancouver Canucks with the Boston Bruins. Like I said, the first half of the game was pretty close, but uh, we picked it up pretty quickly after that point. And here's the pass to Sherwood. And he avoids the poke check with some great edge work. Big time stop there. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice tempo. Almost done with the game here today. Decent, decent, decent game. The man. We call that the Denko. But again, not as many shots to go, but he's made some chances, decent saves. And they lead it late in this he third. did the job for us. Can't, um, <laughs> can't say the same for Swayman. And he slides it quickly to Sherwood. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Ratu. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Come on. Kiki's lugging the puck. It's a oh, two-on-one. Stop it. A chance. What a save. Oh, my goodness. I thought they had it there off the rush. Look here, Mackie. No, didn't make his presence known there. That's it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The game is over. The Canucks really controlled the pace out there tonight, Sheriff. Thatcher Dunko with the, the win. They actually dictated right from Petroff. The real of the dominant season. performance throughout the game, right from the back end through to the front. And also really like you know, the point uh, shots and their selection on it. A decent offensive uh, performance by the team. Um, that one, uh, that one goal there kind of hurts. Um, considering Dunko could have got a 900 save percentage. If it wasn't for that, um, but sometimes you make those mistakes. Puck goes the wrong way or it doesn't go as far as you intended. And then boom, it is in your own net. But Pierre Suter has to be the first star of the game. But third star is Elias Lindholm, former Kanaga. Goal in seven hits. Wow. Wow. Elias Lindholm does it. Pierce Root is the second star of the game? Who's the first star of the game? Brock Besser, goal, assist, and four hits. Okay, he got a little physical there. He did do pretty well. That was a beautiful goal. That one T. That is Brock's house. That's like a dry saddle area, right? That, that's, that's, that's his office. But it looks like Buster found his groove as well and ladies and gentlemen that is the end uh, of this game here we're gonna go back to the um, main menu our franchise menu here and we're gonna take a look at what we have ahead um, we're gonna just press sim to next game real quick and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press save file and then we're gonna discuss what we're gonna be doing next um, probably not gonna play any of the games that you currently see on um, on menu we're probably gonna play those off screen I do want to see what we can do in terms of our next game um, our next game what we can do is honestly we'll probably um, we'll probably do the Florida game the Florida game will be fun against the former cup Changs, and then I will also um, do another Boston game um, Vegas maybe and then maybe Seattle as well. Uh, we'll have to wait and see kind of what happens, but uh, yeah, I, I think um, definitely we want to do the Boston game again. That's going to be a fun one. Um, Florida even more because we got Bobrovsky on the other end. I would I would dare say Bobrovsky is a slightly better goaltender than Swayman. Not slightly, but much better. Um, had his down years obviously, but um, found his game with Florida. So yeah, our, our next game 
um, will be against Florida more than likely. Uh, so we're going to play the Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Minnesota, and Columbus game. Columbus, Tampa, St. Louis games um, all off, um, off screen. And then we're going to play the Florida Boston games, not in the same, uh, you know, same, uh, how you, how would you say it, episode, but um, separately. So those are the two games I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Vegas games in Vegas are always fun, um, but then against playing Colorado is also. So we'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait and see how many games I can record and if I have time to do so. But right now, we're 18-1-1. One, 18-1-1, and, one. One, and one. And we're number one in the Pacific with 37 points. Only two losses. Only one regulation, one OT loss is great. So there's only one game that we didn't receive a point in. Um, and, you know, that was in October. Was that October we lost? Uh, no, it was a 3-2 loss against Edmonton. We were down 3-1. We got a goal. And we were pressuring the Oilers late in that game. And, yeah, it didn't work out. But what matters is that we got the win today. And um, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, um, remember to like, press the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for the latest notifications. And um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time against the former Cup champs, the Florida Panthers.